men get this rap where it's like women are like angry and like there's no good men out there no more and they are they're just hiding from you because (laughs) you (laughs) you attacking people and coming at them like that I would hide from you too if I was a man like I mean think of like you know I feel for you guys dating Mm -hmm. is is not easy but dating as a as a man I could never imagine In this segment, we're going to discuss what are your biggest challenges in relationships. We're going to talk about biggest mistakes you see women make in relationships and so much more. We're going to discuss mental health in relationships, so you don't want to miss this one. What's going on, Brave Arts community? This is Sean Heineman, your premier pre-engagement coach, back with another segment of It's Scary to Remarry. I have a special guest with me today. Today's guest is a poet. She's a painter. She's a speaker. We had a chance to connect on Twitter. We've been trying to make this thing work for the longest, and we finally got it to work. Brave Arts (laughs) community, let's show some love to Camille. How are you doing this evening? Hi, Sean. I'm great. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Let's jump into today's segment because I want to honor your time. So what's your biggest challenge when it comes to dating and relationships right now? Right now, I want to (laughs) date. I am scared. So I'm just chilling solo. But um, yeah, I'm not in an emotional space to date. Mm-hmm. so that's not fair to somebody that may want more and I'm not ready ooh you coming out the fence swinging with the honesty <laughs> well I'm like it's my heart belongs to somebody else so and I'm not with that person so until I either fully get over the situation or if, if something comes of it I don't know but either way, you know, I just got to go through the process. Mm-hmm. And there's nothing wrong with the process. You'll be surprised with the things that you learn from the process and that you're actually willing to acknowledge this process because a lot of people want to skip the process. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's the best part, I think, right? Yeah. The learning yeah. journey. <laughs> yeah. You know, and you got to be willing to be open to it because I do believe you heal faster when you confront those personal issues or things that you're dealing with and and having that self-awareness as I would tweet, you know, self-awareness is top tier, right? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So how does one maintain their mental health while in a relationship? (sighs) Um, Well, I think that you really have to make sure that you have your own life. You know, there's, is. It goes both ways, male and female. They get into a relationship, they forget about their friends, they forget about their family, they forget about their own hobbies and they just become enmeshed into one person in a relationship. And I've been guilty of that. So I'm speaking from experience and it's not healthy. It's really not, it's a codependency that's not healthy. And you know, I feel like it destroys the the bond. Yeah, because sometimes you do get people who get in relationships and it's, you know, me and you against the world, Bonnie and Clyde, all this other stuff. But you forget <laughs> you forget about your friends. Like, you need your friends, especially if yeah, you have like, good ones, right? We all fighting. Like, everybody could be a part of your relationship and celebrate, you know what I mean, too? It doesn't have to be just you and that person. That's an unhealthy, that's a red, so that's an orange flag. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right. Well, and and I tell people that when when you're in a relationship with someone that beware of those who want to be your everything. You know, they 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 just want to be everything. Like you got to be careful with that because it, it's unfair, right? I mean, for one person to carry that burden, you know, it's unhealthy. But for some people, they think that they Superman. They think they can be all that in a bag of chips. And girl, I want to be everything. And it's like, you just better run while you can. (laughs) Oh my God. Yeah. 
I mean, I feel like that could be like a romantic illusion, you know, and a, a sensitive female like myself, you could think, oh, that's so sweet, that's so romantic. But then it becomes like, I've I've experienced that. So it, then the person starts to smother you and, and that, and it could become dangerous if you're not careful, you know? Because you got to think about the mindset of that person. Like, where are they coming from? Like, I think maybe people are afraid to be alone. Yeah. Yeah. So they'd be like, let me latch on to this person and <laughs> own them. Like, no. <laughs> yeah. And there's nothing wrong with being alone. I remember going through my divorce. And, I mean, I would go out to eat. Um, I would go to the movies. Just, just enjoying my own company, you know? Yeah, I love a matinee by myself. <laughs> I always have. I always have. <laughs> and I'm 38, and I've been doing that since I was, like, in my early 20s. I just love going to the movies by myself. And that's cool. You go out to eat by yourself, and you just, like, date yourself. That's what I call it. Yeah. It's a beautiful thing, you know, because when you fall in love with yourself, I believe it becomes contagious. <clears throat> when you fall in love with yourself, like, other people start to feel it. Yeah, it's like it radiates through you. Because mm -hmm. you can't help it, yeah. It's like that that inner beauty. Mm -hmm. I never really thought about that. Fall in love with myself. Yeah. Yeah, L look yourself in the mirror and, you know, kiss the mirror. I love, like, I love myself. Yeah. But I, I guess I've just romanticized the term, too, you know. Like, I've, I've last year, I recently fell in love with my art. Mm. And, and I, I never really, like, I was like, wow, I like that. <laughs> I was like, girl, you did that. You did that. <laughs> okay. And yeah. I went back to some of my previous stuff and I could see my growth and I was so proud of myself and I fell in love with myself that way. And I think that propelled me to grow. You know, mm. that's a good point. I like, I really happy that you brought that up because people need to hear that. Yeah. Yeah. You yes. really say a lot of stuff people need to hear. And sometimes it's not all that complicated. Sometimes it's just like, Think about it. Like, what are, what are we doing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, the other day, I think you tweeted that, you know, we make relationships harder than it has to be. And I was like, that's so true. And it's just like something so, you know what I mean? Like, you just kind of overlook it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like, you know. Yeah, because if you're honest with yourself, I think it makes the relationship easier. If you're honest, you're like, look, I love drama. I, I can't stay in peace right now. I like for stuff to be jumping off in my life. It gives me an adrenaline rush. Be honest with yourself. Don't don't come into a relationship talking about, you know, I'm a Proverbs 31 woman and all this other stuff. No, you're Proverbs 32 woman. Oh. <laughs> wow. People I like, aspire to be 31. I feel like it's not fully attainable. I feel like it's something to aim for, but... There can be no one woman that's going to be a Proverbs 31. It's hard, but I think you could try. No, I totally hear it. I just don't, yeah. But yeah, don't come for me in the comment section because there's probably going to be people that's like, yeah. Well, there's Proverbs 32 at. Exactly. That's why I don't, be, I, I do not quote. I do not play with the word. If I don't know it, I don't say it. I don't because <laughs> they'll come for you. And they will come for plus you. I, just, I don't want to be held accountable because it's like I think and there is somewhere in the Bible and I'm not I'm not gonna quote. Yeah, <laughs> and that you will be held accountable for every single word that comes out of your mouth. And that that's deep. Yeah. <laughs> that's so deep and scary. Yeah. But it's a good thing too, because these conversations, you know what I'm saying? Oh uh, yeah, for sure. You know, and and the whole thing with self love is, I think this is an episode within itself about self love because I had to learn that for myself. Because at the end of the day, you can be in another country, but there you are. The issue still with you. Whatever you thinking is still with you. Like you can't get rid of yourself. So you might as well fall in love with yourself and be honest with yourself. You know. And that way, when you when you real with yourself, like I say, it radiates to others, and then other people they feel your vibe, and they like, and then it, it it attracts people. Yeah, you know, because I think people are looking for love. I I posted a tweet the other day that said, um, "What did I say? I I, I talk so much junk on Twitter. 
I said, I said <laughs> oh, yeah, I said, everybody wants to be loved, but no one wants to be loved. Be loved. Yeah. That's so, deep. Yeah. That's you know, deep. Yeah. But it's you know. true. Because mm-hmm. that I feel like if you are love, right? Like what you say, fall in love with yourself. Then you become that love and it attracts others. You know, if they're not picking up on that and, and emulating that energy, then you can't be you can't really be around those people. You know what I mean? For too long. So but it's it's contagious, just like smiling is contagious. Laughter is contagious. Love is contagious. You know, <laughs> it's one of the best free things that we got left. <laughs> yes. You know what I'm saying? Until the very end, we got it. So I think that's a good deal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just really about being honest with yourself, and like you said, that love radiates. And I think people are looking for that too. People are looking for a safe space. People are looking for authenticity. Hmm. Uh, in, in this day and age with all the social media stuff. <sighs> Same. <laughs> ditto. Big ditto. That's that's my problem. That's probably why I don't I'm scared to go on a date. I'm not I'm not the type to do dating sites either. Like mm. so it's just like I wanna meet somebody in person and vibe with them and just see if I want to make sure you're not a serial killer. You know what I mean? (laughs) I had to feel your spirit in my aura. (laughs) No, that's real because you. Yeah. Yeah. Like ladies, like ladies have to be careful going on dates with guys. You don't know what, what people up to. I'm 4'11". What am I going to do? Like punch you in your knee? (laughs) I'm not doing much. (laughs) Mace only gets you so far because when you're scared, you're not. Even if I can punch, because like I, I got a jab, I'm all right. <laughs> As a kickboxing, I'm all right. But yeah. at the end of the day, you know, like if you're in a situation and then you don't know, there's a lot of stories, um, like trafficking and stuff like that. So where people are just using chemicals on your, your car door handle. So it's not even like you have a chance to think, you know, it, it really is real. It's really scary. Yeah. Yeah, we have to be careful. What yeah. advice would you give me? <laughs> Ad- advice for concerning what? Dating and being being a a, a woman who who's like afraid because it's scary. Are you afraid? I guess the que- I guess I would ask: Are you afraid to open your heart, or are you afraid to just get to meet new people? Okay, so do you want to know in general? Or you want to know right now? Uh, right now. Okay, right now my heart is not available. So I told you that, mm-hmm. you know, it like I really am in love with somebody. So, yeah. but we're not together. And until I process that, then I can't have a relationship. But I do want to date for fun to get to know people. Eventually, like I, I believe dating is for marriage. So that's why I feel like I shouldn't play with it. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, I feel like you can be in the company of somebody of the opposite sex and just chill and talk and talk about life and you know just interview and see if there's potential to mm-hmm. date more for marriage so yeah. i feel like why should i not expose myself to that you know mm-hmm. i've always been like i'm relationship type so i'm yeah. gonna want to be in a relationship i'm not gonna date and just mm-hmm. you know yeah i think if i think there's nothing wrong with, with dating for fun and just getting to know people in general because even if it doesn't work romantically where you like really feeling this person, you never know. This person can have connections for you. Like yeah. you never know. A lot of times people just make they end it at this romantic relationship. Oh, I don't like him. He's not marriage material. I'm gonna just discard him. And it's like, but what if he was just oh, a good yeah. guy? Mm-hmm. He yeah. I think I just heard I think I heard that um day before yesterday. I'm going to I'm going to butcher this guy's last name but I love him and I think you follow him too. Stephen or Stephen Lavoisier? Oh, the boss. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, all right. Yeah, Stefan speaks. Mm-hmm. He, a quote I read day before yesterday was um he could be a good man but that doesn't mean he's a he's a good man for you. Yeah. That was and my I was like See, there we go. And I, I think I saw it on YouTube also because I, I follow him on YouTube also. But yeah. it was, uh, it's true. 
because there's yeah. a lot of, there is a lot of good people out there i feel like men get this rap where it's like women are like angry and like there's no good men out there no more and they are they're just hiding from you because <laughs> you <laughs> you attacking people and coming at them like that i would hide from you too if i was a man like i mean think of like you know i feel for you guys dating mm -hmm. is is not easy but dating as a as a man i could never imagine Mm -hmm. I can I imagine like you have to approach the woman and all that stuff and mm -hmm. yeah. oh hey it take yeah it takes a lot and y'all got to deal with rejection like on a daily basis like single not you but you know what I mean like I can't <clears throat> yeah contrary to popular belief I was single before <laughs> I look at you and your family as just like this whole unit like just always I don't yeah that's in my mind. Yeah. Team misses home full time. <laughs> That's the goal. That's the goal. <laughs> your, boy, your boy is Amen. working on it. I, I need her home because there's so much stuff. She was off work today. You know, Martin Luther King birthday. I came mm. home. Uh, the house was just clean. And it's not saying that she doesn't do this, but she had the energy to clean up. Our boys was in therapy. Our other son was at his granddad's house. She just clean the house, dinner, everything. And Did a thing. Yeah, it was just beautiful. Like, she was chilling. She was cool. She wasn't, like, flustered and all over the place. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. Because we can multitask, but it doesn't mean that we should all the time. And those are heavy duties. Preach. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I don't know if society, like, gives it any type of accolades, but that's no joke. That really is full time. And overtime with children, at least I think. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. What is the biggest mistake you see women make when it comes to dating and relationships? Well, I guess I can only speak on what I know, right? Okay. So, I think, and maybe this is general too, so it can apply to other women. We assume too much too soon. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, we live in a society where it's like that hookup culture. So as soon as you sleep with somebody, you're not in a relationship because that's a lot of people are just doing that. If you don't have that discussion, you know what I'm saying? You may assume that you're with that person and they're out there doing that with a few other people. So, and that's dangerous stuff, but that's communication is key <laughs> from the jump. Yeah, I agree because I was on an interview the other day <clears throat> and I was speaking, I was telling a lady, I said, if you have to ask, what are we doing? You gave away too much too soon. Yeah. You know, Yeah. you know, so, but, um, but that's good making the assumptions because I believe you can't hold someone accountable for something, for a, a discussion you never had. True. You know? True. So. And social media doesn't help either. No, it it really doesn't. It's it's not it's not a social thing. Period. I mean, there's a, definitely a positive. Like you can use your platform, and I say it's to promote and uplift and edify, and so you know if you got a business. But other than that, it's just there's literally strangers like bashing each other, and you see what we're doing to ourselves as a community. It's just nothing. It's, private anymore everything is just out there stuff is not sacred you know yeah and we just a hot mess good old times <laughs> no but social but social media i feel like i feel like it is a very a, a more of a negative mm. in a relationship than a positive i don't know mm. i feel like it's far and few between mm. in terms of like like couples and stuff like i remember when i was on facebook because twitter is the only social platform that i'm on because i eventually just want to not i'm one of those you know i eventually want to not but i feel like there's a benefit i feel like twitter is just different mm -hmm. i just feel like it's different i don't know why maybe it's just a setup yeah but um i digress i started going off on a tangent no you cut me off <laughs> <laughs> no we're kicking it from seeing your parents' relationship, what did it teach you about marriage? 
Um, so my mother and my father were never married. Okay. I was a um a love child. Me too. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay. So that's what I guess that's what they used to call it, right? But um yeah. so I, I guess I never really learned anything uh about marriage. Um you know, because I was never really exposed to it. And my mother actually got married to my stepfather probably about 16 years ago. Okay. So, and I was, I've been on my own since I've been 18. So, oh, okay. I haven't really been around to witness. Mm-hmm. No, I respect that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I want to ask you one last question before we get up out of here. Do you have a favorite quote? Yeah, I was actually wearing it. Um, it was my t-shirt earlier. It was Gandhi, <laughs> be the change you wish to see in the world. And that kind of ties into like the self-love, right? Yeah, right? Uh, <laughs> you see what I did there? <laughs> <laughs> cheesy, I'm cheesy. Oh, Sean, yeah. it was so nice to talk to you and meet. Yeah, for sure. We've been trying to make this happen for the longest. I'm glad that we have that actually made yeah, this happen. Cool. Thank you. Oh, no problem. Before we get out of here, um, let everyone know how they can get in touch with you. Tell us a little bit about our, with your art and your painting. So, Yeah, so um, I'm an acrylic artist. I do abstract and like landscape work. So I'm gonna relaunch my Etsy, but it, it's called Creating Silver Lines. Mm-hmm. And um, my Twitter is create, don't wait, but it's C-R-E-8 as in the number, mm-hmm. don't wait. Mm-hmm. And I'm working on um, a few books, so I'll keep you posted. That awesome. is gonna be a poetry collection. Awesome. Well, Camille, I want to acknowledge you for stepping out in faith and doing what you love. And um, I want to acknowledge you for your honesty and your transparency. I appreciate that. This is one of the reasons I've created this show for people to be, for this to be a safe space, to be an honest space. Uh, something that we're kind of missing today is that real and that authentic, that, that authentic person. So uh, I want to commend you for those things. So thank you once again for being a guest on the show. Bravehearts community, make sure you get in touch with Camille. I've been tweeting with her. You know, her and I, we uh, Twitter friends. So (laughs) make sure you connect with her if you're on Twitter. And uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Share this video with someone. Make sure you leave a rating and review. It doesn't cost anything to support a creative. You can go and leave a review on Apple Podcasts. You can leave a review on Facebook. You can leave a review in multiple multiple places. You can even just hit the share button. That helps as well. So make sure that you support creatives. 